In this video I'm going to present these 3D printed micro tripods and to talk a little about how I designed and assembled them. These are those tripods as I mentioned which are made up of five 3D printed parts and 13 mechanical vitamins. I really like the term mechanical vitamins, which I first heard referred to by the late and quite brilliant E3D pioneer Sanjay Mortema. 3D printing without mechanical vitamins is like a prolonged diet of rabbit meat. In this project, I've used three M3 times 30 millimeter socket machine screws with the same number of nylock nuts, a single quarter inch by half inch tripod mount hex bolt, and my current favorite vitamins, cupboard shelf pins, of which I use six. The first version I printed doesn't have any way of mechanically fixing the two parts of the head together, so when I open the legs and apply pressure downwards, this happens. The legs act like a lever pulling the piece apart. I could have glued it, but I have an aversion to gluing because it is often a part of design obsolescence, which means objects become a lot harder to fix or repair. Inside you can see where two prongs are broken, one inside the opposite marrying part. I'm going to pop to the 3D model and talk about some minor changes I made to the following designs, which address these problems. Along with chamfering the top edge and adding a protrusion to the legs to prevent them from overextending when closed, I added tiny chamfers to the base of the protrusions here, and the inverse here. These tiny buttresses reinforce the parts, and so far they have not broken. I'm now going to turn the analysis mode on so you can see the 3D model sliced in half with a little more detail. This wedge shape to the left limits the spread of the three legs and it's repeated all the way around. I'm going to now show you how I set up the files to print using the Prusa Mini and Prusa Slicer. After importing all three part types, I arrange them using the place to face tool. I copied the leg part another two times, arranging all the parts, and then beginning to apply paint on supports. First for the captive nuts on the upper section, and also under the arches of the pivot points for the base section. I found I didn't need any more supports other than those. After which I made sure to select the support option for support and forces only and set the info to rectilinear and at 20%. I then sliced and generated the G-code to print with. I'll just show the assembly process from start to finish now. This is for the medium sized version, although without the leg prongs. Sometimes the holes are a little bit tight and if you've got a reamer you can just size them up correctly. This could be just a little bit debris. Maybe these screws are slightly bent, I don't know. The object looks like an early space satellite, 
And you can imagine it orbiting around the world, looking down at the stupidity and maliciousness on the Earth's surface. And the tripod can also accept parts which probably should be made out of metal, like this ball and socket joint, which gives you a little bit of flexibility with positioning device. I'm going to leave this video here. If you'd like to see the build instructions and access the STL files, please check out the link in the description below. And as always, thanks again for watching and don't forget to sacrifice a thumb to the algorithm gods. Mm -hmm.